Hi, welcome to Mathematics. In this video, we want to solve for a and b in square root of 2 raised to the power square root of a minus square root of 2 raised to the power square root of b equals 60. Let's say solution. We have square root of 2 raised to the power square root of a minus square root of 2 goes to power square root of b equals 60. So from here, we know that uh, square root of a means a raised to power 1 over 2. So this above expression will now become 2 raised to power 1 over 2, then multiply by square root of a. Minus this will also become 2 raised to power 1 over 2 times square root of b equals 60. But if you multiply this, we are going to have 2 raised to power 1 over 2 times square root of a will have square root of a divided by 2 minus this will have 2 raised to the power square root of b divided by 2 equals 60. So from here, we let m equals square root of a divided by 2. And uh, let n equals square root of b divided by 2. So, the above expression will now become 2 raised to the power. We've let uh, m equals square root of a divided by 2. So, we'll have 2 raised to the power m minus and 2 raised to the power square root of b divided by 2 is n. So, equals 60. But note that uh, m must be greater than n. To satisfy this equation so from induction we will have m to be equals m plus k where k greater than zero so therefore we will have two raised to power this is m so but if let our m equals m plus k we have m plus k minus two raised to power n the term we are using 2 raised to the power n equals 60. But recall that whatever we have a raised to the power x plus y, this is equals a raised to the power x times a raised to the power y from the law of indices. So the above expression will become 2, 2 raised to the power n multiplied by 2 raised to the power k minus 2 raised to the power n equals 60. But if we look here, we have 2 raised to the power n in common. So if we factorize that out, we'll have 2 raised to the power n, 2 raised to the power k. Then what will be left here? We'll have minus 1 equals 60. For this expression, we have to say that for all n, and k belongs to a real number. So from here, we will have, we will find the possible value of n and k to satisfy the above equation. But let's say, let us do that by finding the factor of 60. So let's say we have 60, we have 1 times 60. And you know, this is the same as 60 times 1. Also, we have 60, another factor is 2 times 30, and this is also the same as 30 times 2. We also have 60 equals 3 times 20, and this is the same as 20 times 3. Also, we have 60, this is equals, we have 4 times 15, so this is equals, this is the same as 15 times 4. Yes, and uh, I think uh, the last factor we have is 5 times 12. 
which is the same as 12 times 5. That is general expression or uh, equation that we have that uh, we have 2 is to the power n open bracket 2 is to the power k minus 1 equals 60. So by checking which of these factors of 60 satisfy this equation. So we will have let's try um, 1 and 60. Let's see 1. We have 2 is to the power n 2 is to the power k minus 1 equals 60. So let's try 60 and 1. So we have we will have this times 1. So we will have 2 is to the power n equals 60. And we will have 2 is to the power k minus 1 equals 1. So, but if you look here, do we have any numbers for this one? Do we have any number in which 2 must be raised to power to give 60? So we we'll never have. So that is no. So this is this will be rejected. You know we have if we transfer this one here we have two two is to power that will give us okay two is to power one we have one so then k is equal to one you get so but here it does not satisfy so we reject this so for the second factor the second factor is uh thirty and two so we have twenty times two. So we have 2 is to power n times 2 is to power k minus 1 equals 30 times 2. Here we will have 2 is to power n equals 30. So then we have 2 is to power k minus 1 equals 2. The same thing, do we have any numbers in which 2 must be raised to power to give 60? So, sorry, to give 30 here so no so also here will be 30 so this one cannot be expressed as uh, the power of 2 as well so the same thing will reject this we'll reject this so let's check the third one let's check the third one so which is 20 and 2 20 times 2 so let's say we have 2 is to power n times 2 is to power k minus 1 equals 20 times 2 we we'll have 2 is to power n equals 20 and we we'll have 2 is to power k minus 1 equals 2. So the same thing, do we have any number in which 2 must be raised to give us 20? No. And this one, if you collect this one, is going to be 3. So we cannot express 3 as 2 raised to power. So we reject this as well. Reject. So let's check for 4. 4 will have, we'll have 4 times 15, right? So we'll have 2 is to the power n times 2 is to the power k minus 1. So equals 4 times 15. Here we have 2 is to the power n equals 4. And uh, 2 is to the power k. 2 is to the power k minus 1 equals 15. But here I asked earlier that uh, do we have any number in which 2 must be raised to give us 4? This one we can have this can implies 2 is to the power n equals 2 is to the power 2. We get so if we neglect the base is equal to the power we will have n to be equals 2. So this one is true. Also here, if you collect the light and we transfer this here, we have 2 is to the power k equals 15 plus 1. So which is 16. So which we have 2 is to the power, sorry, 2 is to the power 4. So and you know this we neglect this. We have our k to be equals k to be equals 4. So this particular factor is true for the given equation. So we have to choose for here so we have n equals 2 and k equals 4. recall that uh, we earlier stated that recall 
we call that we let m equals m plus k and since our k equals one we'll have m our n is equal to two and our k equals four so we'll have m to be equals six so now to obtain our a and b so let's uh, recall that uh, we let m equals square root of a divided by two and we let n equals square root of b divided by two so from here we have m equals six equals square root of a divided by two and uh, our n equals two which is equals m divided by two from here if we cross multiply we'll have six times two we will have six times two equals square root of a and uh, what we have two times two equals square root of b here we have six times two that is 12 equals square root of a and uh, here we have two times two that is four equals square root of b and since we want to get a and square and we want to get b and uh, we have um square root disturbing us so we have to square both sides so if you square both sides we have 12 square equals square root of a square and for this we have four square equals square root of b square here we have this square will cancel the square root and here this square will cancel the square root we we'll have we we'll have 12 square equals a and 4 square equals b 12 square is 12 times 12 and that is 144 equals a and 4 square is 4 times 4 and that's 16 equals b therefore we have our a to be equals 144 and our b to be equals 16. Thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video kindly like and leave a comment and don't forget to share with your friends and network do well to also subscribe to my channel to stay updated on my next video bye